So this is back at the front outside where everybody's been at. People are having discussions. See, that's what happens. Come out, you do ministry, you get discussions. You get to talk. Talk about Jesus. Talk about Jesus. Of what? The satanic temple. Of Ron Ron. I'm on Ron? Yeah, I'm on Ron. 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 Sinners are going to send you to hell. What's that? Amun Ra is a sun god. Aran Ra. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got the comfort to stay by there. So if you can get him down here. He's right there. Put your glasses on. Where? Right there. By the bus? Right behind the bus? If you can get him down here. Say, hey, say, you talked you talk to him about us yesterday, right? No. no. Who, you, who are you talking to yesterday? Oh, preacher. Yeah. yeah. Please ask us to stay over here. Um, okay, you, can back. you can get get him somehow to come down here. Where is he? Right there with the line here with the sunglasses. Above the cars. Above the cars. All you can see is his head. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I saw him in there. Yeah. He's talking. 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 Oh, we've got to record that. We'll record that. Oh, my bad. I was trying to ask. <laughs> so, I've asked you before. One, everyone is malicious. Everyone is free will. I'm not going to try to I do want to get back to the I'm going to be here with my wife later on. So, these Messianic Jews. To be honest, you're going to you're gonna, you're gonna tell me stories that would be like, you're going to tell me everything that happened in Avengers Endgame, despite the fact that I have no interest in that movie. You tell me a bunch of Jewish, that's what you did. I don't believe and don't care about. Sources. Sources. I, sources or legends I don't care about. What I want are the actual facts. The things we can show to be a true. A source is a fact. Right. And so we're going back to... Yeah, that yeah, yeah. No, that didn't happen. The didn't no, no, happen. no, no, no. That's your that premise. Didn't happen. That's your premise. We know these didn't happen. No, give me reason why. But it's genetically impossible. No, it's not. Yes, it is. And this evolution is college. You know what entropy is? Yes. And I know better than you how it doesn't relate to the argument that you're talking about. Yes, I do. I've heard, I've heard so many times the argument about entropy somehow being involved in evolution. So tell me. It's not. 
please tell me the reason why you're here on this earth as a human being. Is it just... Is it just... Yeah, like, I'm a friend of my dad about it. Why is there a point in life? Is there a point in life? Is that what you said? Is there a reason for life? Is there a reason for life? Is there an intended purpose? No. 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 Now, I'm telling you, plain and simple, that takes as much faith as... No, it takes no faith at all. No, it Do not project your own ills onto me. Then you can't I am project... An, I am an epistemist. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. I am an epistemist. I am sick to death of being... You guys always projecting your own faults onto me. No, you're not giving me... You stories. don't have evidence, and you're, I don't have faith. You're yelling like the weirdos don't, over there. Don't accuse me of be, having your faith. That's your problem. You're having... That's your fault. You're yelling I do not just have like that them. Fault. I'm asking for sources. I'm asking I for reasoning. I sources. No. One specific argument. And I'm saying I time. can give you Nothing. 330 some odd prophecies that you will let the coming that you will not be able to be verified. Or the don't same qualify. thing. Trust you. I don't. I'm not trust asking you to trust yes. me. No, I'm not. I don't believe. I'm going to show you objective verifications. You don't have to trust me at Let's all. Do it trust tonight. me, nothing. Let's do it. Tonight. I don't trust you. I don't have faith. You don't right? have to yet. I don't believe anything that isn't evidently true. And I'm, I'm an epistemist. I am an epistemist. I know. I know you don't understand. I don't wait. wait you don't. You're insulting my intelligence. You don't, you don't understand this. You don't know. You, you, you don't have any faith. You don't know what it is to believe. Can I ask you a question? Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, I'm pretty much done with it right now. Give me, give me about one minute. All right. So I'm gonna get back because my group is in. So you don't want to sit with me. You're afraid. I'm afraid. I challenge you. So, yeah. so we're going to use the intellectual Rep argument of chicken. Yeah, chicken, yeah, exactly. Chicken, yeah, I love because it. Because I don't want to listen to your bullshit stories but that you are don't irrelevant know to the point. What I have to say. Are, okay, I gave you. I gave you the you things. Study Hebrew. I gave you the things I am interested in. You're not interested in talking about the things I'm I am interested in. I am. I am. But you're not you're giving me sources. I'm willing. To I give can you give you all the sources you need, specifically one at a time. Oh, if I want to do one at a time. I want to listen. And they're going to be difficult you to do on the street because you're going to want. You're going to like them. You're going to. Hurt. No, 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 you get mad. You know that. Yes, I'm getting mad because but I'm constantly interrupted. That's the trick. Well, because again, all you've done is given me your personal opinion. Except that I never gave you a personal opinion. Yeah, I was just, giving no. You I can't didn't. say it's back. You haven't proven it to me. You can't say the things that you are certain fact are fact. I can it. show the things let's that I assert as fact to be fact. Let's talk maybe about we'll it. Become Satanists, help us. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> no, I don't Satanism, think so. Satanism, Satanism isn't a matter about belief. Satanism yeah. is a basic form right. of humanism. You kind of have to be born some, and cultured into that. Say, there are some of true Satanists. There are some. Wait, I'm a true Satanist. What the hell does that mean? No, there, there are different those branches, those just like the different branches of the I met one. I think there's 40 in like the world. Well, no, they, they had a national convention. They had it in Oklahoma City. Forty people showed up. Four zero. Uh, we're talking about in the whole world. And, it, and it's the end of all time. So for the devil worshippers, which are different from Satanists, you, you got my card, right? Uh, yeah, you gave me your time. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, no, I, it's very important for a student called the four zero. Really? Then I'm gonna run because my wife is waiting for me in a group. Okay. Will you call me? I will call you, but it better be something I'm interested yeah, in. I do not care about Jewish history. Well, I then, just don't. Then you don't care about facts. I do care about facts. No. I, don't want to hear, I don't want to hear every Jewish fact. I don't want to hear facts about the, 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 the reason the why you're alive. Like, I, mean, I, I don't care. You're alive because the Israelis have been preserved by God. And had nothing to do with my ancestors in Norway. And you I came promise. out of nowhere. You came. Uh, you know, you were born in, 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 in the. The soup of the primordial sludge. Yeah. The point. The point is, yes, you still have no reason for how it happened. You came out. I don't of, need one. No. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Because I don't need. You're telling what me what I need. I don't need one. What is my purpose? You don't need to have. If you I have do a have purpose, purpose. In your life. You have to decide what you want so, it to be, and then you have to work for that. Right, let me ask you this question in closing. Who gives you your standard of conduct in regards to how you should act as a saint? I was. I was a. We evolved as a social species. We have an interdependent relationship. The Germans, Society. No, the Germans have nothing. Six million to of my people. Yes, was because there, Hitler was a creationist Christian who objected. Oh, he wasn't a Christian. Yes, he absolutely was. He was a, he both was publicly a and privately. He was in a, Mein Kampf, he said that he. Could, I read Mein Kampf. He didn't. Yes, he did. He did argue against evolution. He said that evolution could only happen within kinds. But, he wasn't but the two believed. 
What's that? Was it Stalin? Can I finish yeah. the statement? Yeah, Stalin was an atheist. He also gulagged Darwinian scientists. He rejected Darwinian But you're well, calling him a, a, a believer. No, I'm not. You said he's a Christian. No, Hitler, Hitler was, actually, was Stalin yeah, was an atheist. Hitler was Christian. No, he wasn't. You, he always, because only ever in Mark chapter 12, he says, what were the he greatest did. commands? He said, yes. to love the Lord your God with all your heart. I didn't say he was a perfect Christian, but he always he wasn't, only ever identified as Christian. You can't kill people in the name of God. And, right. But the Christians do that all the time. Yeah, and they're not believers. They come by the name of God. Okay, so now we got the no true Scotsman fallacy on. We are done. I'm not going to kill you in the name of God. We are done. I'm going to be a gentleman. Good day. Call me. Hi, I'm Gail. Call me. I hope you hear from me. Don't be chicken. This So you guys heard him, what he was saying. So there is a difference in his opinion between devils and Satan. Um, interesting. trying to get Ruben up here but he's talking to someone right now
showed that through his word that uh, that this man that he would come uh, years, of, thousands of years ago, prophesied would come to pass, and now we see it uh, 2,000, a little bit over 2,000 years through the man Jesus Christ, and that he is Jesus who came in the flesh, that uh, and he was the one that was fulfilled all things uh, that was prophesied in the past, but then he also said that certain things were going to come to pass, that certain things were going to happen in the end of the age. Uh, that it, so if you read the, uh, the, the uh, book of Genesis, you'll see in the beginning how God did his creation, but then you'll also see that how man fell through the man Adam and Eve, and uh, but then uh, perversion or a lot of things would happen later on, and then ultimately God would be so angry with the with mankind that He wanted to destroy mankind, and ultimately He ended up uh, bringing a, a flood on the on the earth, and that flood actually. It, um, it, it destroyed all the life, those who didn't want to believe, like, this, like in our day and age now, so many people don't want to believe, so many people don't want to uh, put their faith, hope, and trust in God, and they would love lawlessness rather than love the things of God. So, uh, so here is Jesus come on the scene and he's, he's telling us how we are to, to live our life and he's telling us how things are going to be in the end of the age. And if we look at our time now, and we see that as a fulfillment, not the 24, the 21, Mark 13. So, um, so yes, um, the Constitution protects Satanism, and that is true. And, 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 and that's our rights, our freedom, and that's the uh, privileges that we have here in, in, in our country. So that's a good thing. We have the proof. It doesn't protect I think there's right. someone down here that Absolutely. probably prove that to you. That protect, they want to talk to you I'm if you don't saying, mind. I'm saying it protects They've the belief. Tried. I've always I'm done saying it protects the belief. I don't it protects know if we're talking the about the same people. But so people have the but right yeah, to can, believe what the they want to believe. Okay. It's going to be a little bit but, longer like conversation than what we can have Satan right now. Satan is a murderer. He wants to meet you anyway, though. He doesn't want to come down. He doesn't want to come down. I'm going to walk and but and God, a, like, Jesus Christ is the light of the world, and He brings light to every man coming into the world. Street, so it is not His. Um, <laughs> All right, let's make it two uh, steps. What if, what if it wasn't about Satan, information? Uh, Satan what, wants what to want you to what if follow Him, so He can be your God, so You can protect Him. You know his way is so right. I'm going to let you say something. Well, yeah, I think I was a reborn Christian, here, um, and then after that, I was a neo Make a distinction between I dabble in transcendental evil meditation. I've had all the experiences rebellion. I need. Thank you. I need I something that qualifies the truth. And it can't just be a necessary subject. part it can't of be, this country. Uh, and it don't, against I need something to be out, that I can and show to you someone look else, this, not just believe for myself. Part of the church, I care what is true. If you I'm not going to believe anything their, that is not uh, evidently uh, true. Right. I don't have, you don't, don't have to believe it wrong. They don't but if I believe something and I find out that uh, I didn't have good enough reason to believe in the first place, I already don't believe it anymore. That's what we're here to promote. So it has to have it has to have enough worth to qualify. Protecting against I hate faith. I, I, the only thing I hate in the world and is lies. The rest is up to somebody else. As long as you're not harming somebody else. To have. Then, then the only way to make faith even less honest is to become an apologist. The rest is up to you. The, the scripture well, that you believe in. See, I'm glad and somebody, that somebody else taught in. me this, and that's I their right to the do power so. of God even if you before somebody took me out. That's right. It, it, it is their right to believe whatever they want to believe, but. You know, we're what here you just to proclaim Jesus Christ that Satan is not the way. So when you die, well, like each one of us is going to die tomorrow. I met one guy and so you know, we're, we're here, here to let everybody spaceship. know that uh, there's a way that seems right that guy, by a man, but the but end of all the way uh, is death. Any other and so ever God, is, it, he says that I'm the way. Jesus says I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. And so he's, he's saying feeling that, that I come that you might have life and have it to the full. Because Satan can give you that. Satan is, that. is a fake, a I've deceiver. He's, he's, to yeah, trap every, he's here that. to trap Read every auras, man and that, to yeah. get them to but follow his easy, ways easy, instead of the ways of God. Jesus, but God, but God is, is trying to let you know that, yes. hey, so seen, uh, so you, uh, so there are I'm, the, I'm no. the only one that can you give you that real. eternal life. It's I'm the only faith. door in which you can enter. You can enter the I realize that it's possible for me to make other people I want you to follow me. Jesus says, 
come to that me, all you there, who are heavy laden, I'll give you rest. He says, uh, if you really want to be if my disciples, you can be a prophet all the way. He said to, to lead the ways of the world and, 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 and follow me, you follow my ways. In the end, you're going to find out that Satan's ways is going to lead you to hell. There's a place called hell. There's a place called hell. And these bodies, these bodies that we're walking around in are In other words, even if you see something with your eyes and experience it, and when, when you, do you would say in, you might be deceiving some. But what if, what if it happens so that a whole bunch of people be a could judge. see judge. George Harrison, John Lennon, you've heard of them? Yeah, the Beatles. For, for, yeah. Or eternal they said death, when they shut the mantras, that Lord Krishna would appear. They couldn't, it's not just that they could hear him speaking from their hearts, they could hear him audibly. They could see him visibly. 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 In the room talking with him like a real person. That's real for both of them. Yeah, so, That's so real for a whole a, bunch of Bhakti Hindu. That, there's 800 there's million that Hindus that is, see uh, and hear wholly different gods than what you get in the West. Absolutely. Right. So absolutely. does that make this, those this gods was, real? Is, is, no, it makes them. It makes them. So what they believe to be spirits or whatever to begin because of our sins. So when what it really is is that all of you were imagined. That's the truth. There are no demons. So God is letting us know that we can. We can, right, we can truly have that eternal life. We, we walk that way. Satan 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 so it's up to us how we're living in our life. So we're following Satan, not a and he's going to judge us for it. But that's all mythology. That's coming from the Bible, but we don't have Jesus Christ as Lord. We're separated. We're separated from Christ. We're separated from God. And we can't say that there may be a higher power, but we don't know what you can't even define it. When I die, I'm going to hell again. No, there's none righteous but God. And so we have to examine ourselves, look at how we are. Not as a judge. Can you admit that there could be a higher power than us? Uh, and it's can you not pull up God. The, the uh, well, 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 actually, because I know that your God does not exist. Seven, seven, I know that the Bible is false. The Bible no, God no, Jesus definitely Christ is not is real. Judge, so he's going to judge all men. Jesus Christ is going to come like, back, like, oh, like, and he's going to so judge. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So you have your illusions. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, w
They're not okay, genetically so there's interfered. a separation They have speciated. And, and you know what speciation is? So the, is that evolution? Yes. But you don't believe in the Big Bang, so where did evolution come from? Evolution is a, is a, is a, is a biological force, a theory of population genetics. But what Atomic it, theory. What you don't need to worry about you know, nuclear bombs because it's just a theory. So you do believe in Gravity is just a theory. But have you heard of the theory of the germ theory of disease? It says here, this is Jesus. Germ theory of disease. It's the basis that, 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 that diseases are, are caused by pathogens. Now, every modern scientific theory is also a fact. There is this thing called atomic theory. They call it a theory. You know why? Because science is prohibited from ever proving anything true. Because if you believe Evolved, you have to be open. To, you have to be open to a possibility that you don't know everything. Because if you don't, you're stuck. Science is stuck. So you can't ever prove anything to be true. Right. That's solidified. Right. If you could prove something to be true, evolution would have been proven a century ago. Wow. Well, gravity is a law. No, it isn't. Evolution is never been a law. The laws of gravity are contained within the theory of gravity. These aren't educated. I'm trying to get them down. There are a number of laws of evolution that are contained within the theory of evolution. There's no way you can prove that we came from an ape. I can definitely prove right here standing on the sidewalk within five minutes that you are an ape. Right now. So, so I can prove it right now. There is not can I get him down? The, there is so much evidence, you wouldn't believe how much of it, and I can present a lot of it to you right now in five minutes. We don't have to go into can other get, things. It would take can we walk and get him down? This I can prove right now. Can I, can I, can I just tell you in two minutes? You did not Jesus. To no, no. Can, can we, my magic my can, can we walk down here so I can introduce you to this person? All right. You know, I want to get my video. Well, I know, but... You give me two minutes. Just two minutes and I'm done. Tell me more about Thor and Zeus and your all. No. Information in itself isn't going to solve the problem of God. Um, when Jesus spoke, he said, if you will keep my commandments and you will walk out on them, I will love you and manifest yourself, myself to you. And I did that before somebody came along and talked me out of it. And he did manifest himself. So all the information in the world isn't going to talk me out of it. Because I am with him. I, I am with him right now. Just admit it to me. What's that? Just admit it to me that you are unreasonable. No, I'm wasting my time. Your brain is eternal life. You don't have all the information. We don't know anything. We need all the information. We don't need all the information. We just need that some little information we have, we need to be able to show that it's true. So, can you fill a cup that is already full? Right? How can you put information in a cup that's already filled full of bullshit? No, see, I can have a conversation with you about these things, but I've already proven that what you what haven't. You are under a delusion. Do you know what the definition of a delusion is? It's a fixed, false belief that will not change despite all evidence to the contrary. Well, you're telling me I don't have proof. Okay. I am. I'm telling you. I, can prove you know. I have so much proof in my own life. You don't have a bit. You have an anecdote. I can tell you. I can tell you. Jesus you Christ is the only one that is free to judge anybody. Look, look at Daniel, because he is the yeah, one that is free to judge anybody. He's the one that is free to judge anybody. He's the one that is free to judge anybody. He's the one that is free to judge anybody. He's the one that is free to judge anybody. He's the one that is free to judge anybody. He's the one that is free to judge anybody. He's the one that is free to judge anybody. He's the one that is free to judge anybody. He's the one that is free to judge anybody. He's the one that is free to judge anybody. He's the one that is free to judge anybody. He's the one that is free to judge anybody. He's the one that is free to judge anybody. He's the one that is free to judge anybody. He's the one that is free to judge anybody. He's the one that is free to judge anybody. He's the one that is free you know. Every, you will, the Holy Spirit, everything you're telling me right now, the Holy Spirit, this man, will come to know that everything you're telling me right now is faceless. Let us pray for you. Go ahead, write a letter to Santa, too. Would you may write a letter to Santa if you think it would help. If Jesus was real, would you want to help? I want to help. 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 I
want to know what is true. And if Jesus was true, and Jesus is a liar from a book of lies, from a with a God that bragged, yes, Jesus is going to argue with him. I don't know what a lie is. You know, there's an angel outside of the Bible that Jesus Paul says, do you not know that the saints will judge the world? The saints are the children of God. Those that have come to Christ. Do you not know that the saints will judge the world? And if the world will be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the saints? And they admit, and they admit that there's no historic evidence of Jesus at all. I don't know what Jesus Christ is. So we, if we're not going to judge the saints, we are in a position to judge the saints. Yeah, he's the one who said there is no historic evidence for Jesus at all. He still thinks there was one because of contempt. That's all there is. I got a friend who's working on a biblical scholarship. He started out as a mythicist. He now says that there's enough contextual stuff that he would include that there probably was a first century faith healer scamming people back then the same way that they scam people now. So it's about whether he rose from the dead or not. If he rose from the dead, then he would be here. It wouldn't even matter. It really wouldn't even matter. If the Bible wasn't true, then we know the Bible's not the truth. How do you know? Because Genesis is impossible. We know the Adam and Eve the flood of the Bible. I didn't say the flood. I said I can prove that he was an ape. Yeah, we've, we've seen Jesus do miracles. Yeah, yeah, funny, I've heard Hindus say exactly the same thing about their God. I know a guy who met Fox. Met her. She appeared fully physically manifested in his house and made him to become her disciple. So he did. Because when a nature to him, when a topless Egyptian goddess with a cat head shows up in your house and says, Worship me, yeah, you do. You know, that's what you do. But does that make it real? So a guy says, Right. That he met the cat headed goddess. Do I believe him? Why do they have the same reason I don't believe him is the same reason I don't believe you. You're telling me where I've already been. You're telling me what I've already seen. I've gotten past that. I would beckon you to come out of that delusion that you're in and be where I am. You've seen God heal people. And then everything they do targets directly Christianity. But he keeps walking up. All the prophecies have right? been the past. Right? How do you explain all the prophecies that failed? Real quick, that failed. It's only yeah. Christianity. Uh, that the Maccabean book. Right? Uh, uh, the, 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 the book of Daniel prophesies about yeah. abomination of desolation. It's one right. that hasn't come yet, but it prophesies about specific very specific details about armies, about empires that have come. And that no, fulfills I mean, the uh, historic empire that have that have uh, 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 you know, uh, conquered so, certain right, periods of time. They have a, they have, and so how do you explain they that? Morning, how do you explain that when, that's, when, that's, when that's, we have okay, you got to look at things and most of them are not prophecies, they're prophecies. Uh, called prophecies. They didn't have any prophecy in them at all. It's just somebody reads a mistranslation of something where somebody says, piercing my hands and feet is being hunted by dogs. And somehow that's translated as being a prophecy about Jesus, but it was never a prophecy in the first place. And it don't, you can only interpret it that way in that one translation. Other translations word it differently. So then it's not a prophecy anymore. And then you have all the other prophecies that utterly fail. Utterly and spectacularly fail. There are, there are, there are. Let me, let me just, I don't know. I could be here all day. I want to go get my video. And I'm just, I'm beating against the wall. I have him saying, no reason will ever affect me. You said the same thing earlier. That there's no way I could ever convince you of anything. I said, then why am I trying? It's not about truth. I know it's not about truth either. The truth is what the facts are. You don't have any. You don't have any. No, he isn't. You have an empty assertion. I'm telling you, he has. No, you're telling me lies. You don't know that they're lies, but they are lies. And we can demonstrate that. We can even uh, prove it definitionally. So experience wouldn't do anything, anything to you. You're telling me reason won't do anything for me, but you're telling me experience with God wouldn't do anything for you. Well, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. I've had the experience. I've had the experience. Yeah, I wouldn't say the I only thing we go off is yeah. the experience. And I also, I also told you the exact opposite, that when you walk away from religion, you know, then you have a healing of heart. You know, I'm a chemical engineer. I believe in science. Okay, so you didn't listen? To anything I said about the clergy project where all the people who got more tolerant, more loving, so they, they were all better people when they got walked away from religion. Everyone that was healing their heart. Why all these people feeling all this hate? Because they.
they need their hearts healed. I, 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 they're still in the same deliverance that they're in the same. There are some people that are with you that don't have the love of God, God so or don't have enough. God, God doesn't have love. love. God is imaginary. God is love. Me, no, God, God is not love. There's nothing in the Bible that shows that God is love. When God tells you that you can murder all the people, that's not true. That's not true. coming out. God is like a literal description. Except that it's also describing. Like but you just said that. Okay, no, right. Yeah, it says that. It says that. Okay. It says that. 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 God or people that believe in God. You're saying people that believe in God don't show. Right. So is Moses. So is Moses making for God when he says that God wants to be there. I'm smelling. And I want to tell you. Is that a yes or no question? I'm answering your question. With this question, because it depends. Oh, 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 oh. How, so how you answer, answer this is how I answer you. There's a guy who wanted to be when, when Moses speaks. I'm not going to When Moses speaks to God, is he speaking for God or is he saying he's speaking for God? He's being led to speak for God. Ah, so now we go to the line where God says, and if the prophet said something that is wrong, that I have deceived that prophet. So is God lying to the prophet, or is the prophet lying about speaking to God? When Moses claims to be speaking for God, is Moses speaking for God? God's words coming out of Moses' mouth. He's speaking God's saying. Yeah, he's speaking the words of God. So, when Moses speaks for God, it's God speaking. When, well, when Moses speaks for God, like just like the, the Bible says, it's in the, the word in spite. The Holy Spirit moves upon men to preach the right the word of God or speak or prophesy and stuff, say the Lord. So God, God's word is being called, God's word is being spoken to the Bible. So it was God who said to wipe out all these people, kill everything, steal everything, and don't even leave the women and children alive. Kill all the mothers, kill all the babies, except the little girls. If they're virgins, the preteen girls you keep for yourselves as sex slaves. That's God's command there. Well, I mean, what was specific, which was the quote in Numbers 31? So, the context of Numbers would be when they're, when they're, uh, They went after the Medianites. They wanted to go raid the Medianites. But, I'm, 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 and they wanted to keep the little girls as sex slaves. What, that, what do you mean sex slaves? Sex slaves. They're slaves kept for sex. That's why the only thing that determines whether you keep them is when they're girls and two, they're virgins. Well, obviously, it's in that, in that I think the confusion well, comes you know, with this. Like, it, oh, it, it, so we're not going to say that. Right now, if society were more righteous and we're seeking the things of God, there's no way it would be happening. But it's a statement on where our society is and how far it's fallen that this is taking place. But we're not here to say that they don't have a right to do that. Because Moses commanded his people to go and kill everybody. Because there was a just take their hats. And that message is the gospel of Jesus. You, so you, you don't believe at all that people better can be judged, that God can so judge anybody, can judge that God can judge people? Right. So, so you don't believe that God, after God, after God, after God, after God after doesn't exist. After God, How can he judge God? Society God as a whole is going to be like we just wrong did with the Ten Commandments, right? We said if everybody could judge just those Ten Commandments perfectly, society would be a much better place. And you agree, right? Earlier today, we had the conversation about how people will come up with social justice. No, I have no interest in that because I know who Satan is. He's the father of all. All liars, that's what and Moses was steal, doing, coming with a bullshit kill, excuse destroy. for why you can raise the Midianite said. town and kill everybody. Agree with a lot that was his bullshit excuse, to justify the immorality. Well, they knew it was immoral, it's objective. Cain killed Abel, right? Nobody knows the Ten Commandments, but you already know you're not supposed to do that. It's objective. Morality is objective. He knew that. So because again, when Moses God, 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 God,
there's no God, then morality is good. Team morality for you is strictly objective. It is entirely objective. To people that don't believe in God, because then it has to do with what people think. We have a it has to do with what people think. Do we have a way of knowing? Do we have a way of defining whether an action is moral or not? I believe that people who cheat on their wives and cheat on their husbands, then we have objective morality. Because there's a sense of 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 morality. Because there's a sense of
and don't know what they're talking about. There is, God doesn't speak to that. God only speaks to random lunatics who then write things down in books that contradict what all the other random lunatics say that God told them. So where do you get your belief from? I don't get my belief. Do you, do you not get information from books? I get information, yes. From books? I get, yes. You're just as guilty as what you're just still guilty. Hey, the Bible is, uh, has I, I study science, so I have, I have factual information. The same science that said Pluto was a planet, now it's Say, uh, uh, now they've redefined what a planet is. Oh, constantly. Constantly. Yeah. Science is a pretty self correcting process. Your planet, now it's round, now it's flat. Science held that it was round long after religion was still teaching that it was flat. I can show you science that will argue and bicker among yourselves more than you'll ever know. I think it's you I, won't I have, have a science degree. I know how scientists argue with each other, but they do it factually. It's not like the way religion does. Nevertheless, they can show. They're not like minded. Right. You want to use science and uh, you know they're not they're not in agreement. At least the Bible tells us what God said. If it depends on faith, then I don't want anything to do with it. The Bible isn't a book of faith, it's a book of facts. No, it gives us facts. We know that Adam and Eve didn't happen, it's genetically possible. Where did you get that? We know that Adam and Eve didn't happen. We know that the Exodus didn't happen. Where did you get that? Lots of different places, all the whole combining to confirm consensus. The only thing that says they did have is a book of fables that says snakes and donkeys can talk. Where did you get your information? Where did you get your information? Where did you get your information? Independent sources that all corroborate. What are they? Give me some information. What exactly? I mean, I can at least give you a Bible verse if you want. But yeah, you can give me quotes from the book of fairy tales. Tales, and I can give you various Jesus objective you scientists that disprove these quotes. So, on the thing I've I just mentioned about Adam and Eve, for example, yes. we know prior Jesus mythology that matches the Adam and Eve story in important details that are also older than the Adam and Eve story by a long way. They talk about the story of Adapa, for example, who was taken to meet the gods, the Mesopotamian gods. He's the first man. They take him to meet the gods and he's warned that the gods are tricksters. They may try to kill him. And so if they offer you any food, it might be poison, so don't eat it. But instead, the gods liked it, and so they offered him the food of eternal life. But he didn't take it, and that's why humans are mortal. That story pre-existed Adam and Eve. There's a handful of others from Mesopotamia that all have elements of the Adam and Eve story in them. The serpent, the, the daughter born of the rib, all of that. They all come from prior mythology. We know that Genesis is mythology, and that's all. It was only ever supposed to be a metaphor. It doesn't even make sense to try to interpret it literally. to you, but it makes perfect sense. Not if you understand, not if you understand objective science. How did, how, did, how did we get to the planet Earth? Wow. The Big Bang, uh, evolution, what happened? Big Bang doesn't create planet Earth. Big Bang is irrelevant. How, how did we get where we are today? What happened? Evolution. Evolution. Yeah. What? That's the, from what? From earliest life form, which is a different process. So where did that life form come from? Chemical matrices. Where do chemicals come from? The, it, it, again, this is, none of this is relevant. You're, you're going over deliberately. No, no, I'm just trying to find out. You might have more faith than I do. No, I have no faith. And I, tell you, I have to tell you, a pet peeve of mine. Believers like to project their own faults onto other people. You know that faith is... It is indefensible. So you have to pretend as if I have faith. I don't. I object to faith more than anything else. I'm an epistemist. That means that I don't. That I consider faith to be the most dishonest and self-deceptive position it's possible to have. The only way to make faith more dishonest is to become an apologist. Any belief that requires faith should be rejected for that reason alone. So I will not believe anything on faith. I need evidence. I need enough evidence to compel a belief. And my friends, you have your to body. Realize, I mean, you have to yeah, your, body, you, your body is because actually a, 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 a creator yeah. has to put you together. Why would how can you say make, would make me an ape? Why would he make me exactly an ape? By holding all the criteria to be an ape. Well then why are we apes? Uh, that's what you believe. That's what evolution believes. what we can believes. prove right now. What that's is an ape? That's what evolution believes. I don't believe that. We don't have to believe that. We can prove that. We can prove that. How come we're not still evolving? We are. 
Yeah. Evolution doesn't stop. So you're so saying we came from we are saying we still move right now. So whatever the enemy is trying to be, do, I'm not. I'm you are in the actual by definition that God is a monkey. Why would God be a monkey? Is God, is God a, is a flattering monkey, meaning the nostrils point sideways, or is he a cattery monkey, meaning the muscles point down? Your nostrils point down, so I guess he's a flat, he's an old world monkey. Does he have flat fingernails as opposed to claws? Fingerprints? If he has fingerprints? Which you probably heard this. I'm sure you grew up in Christianity, didn't you? Yeah. I got tired of being lied to. I, I, did your parents take you to church? It's his story. Only rarely. It was never a good scene. When I, when I said that the, the preacher was lying, I got punched in the stomach and they never brought me back to church. But the preacher was lying. What was he lying about? He said that there was footprints of humans walking with dinosaurs in Biloxi River in Texas. I've been to that river. I know better. Bible I've excavated says, those tracks myself. I know better. Come, Lord Jesus. But when I was a little kid, and they told me he's that, they said that soon, and these footprints of, in of sandaled of footprints gravity. in pre-Columbian America, because he said it was, they dated to 6,000 years old, which was another lie, so those because prints didn't date back to 6,000 years old. Right. Yeah, but he has just lie, 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 lie. Hey, we got, we got politicians that lie, don't we? Yeah, we got lots of politicians that lie. That's irrelevant, too. Let's not just We got Hey, there are some, I told you when I first started. religion is all lies. No, it's not all lies. There are some bad believers out there. Who love money? There's very there's different lies. motives. There's nothing. I'm not going to say uh, Jesus Christ in the Bible is it true because some wacko like uh, Jim Jones had everybody put to death. That's foolish. Who, who would do something like that? Heaven's gate people say them. Yeah, there's crazy people. Absolutely. And then there's other people who also believe lies. So when you say something is true, but you can't show the truth of it, that's a lie. When you say something, when you say that you know something. This is what religion is all about. This is what faith is. Pretending to know things you don't know. There is. So when you, the Bible is a book of fact. I, I but, it's no, but there's no facts in it. Sure. It's all lies. Sure. There's nothing true. But if, if there's, wow. there's an actual, there's a place, there's a place called Ethiopia. And so Bible mentions Ethiopia. It mentions you type of Euphrates. But it's, none of the, the content of the stories are true. So like, we could say that there, there, there was an actual Germany, there's an actual, there was an actual Adolf Hitler. In the third Indiana Jones, he goes to Germany, he meets Hitler. But Hitler and Germany don't prove Indiana Jones. You gotta, kinda got the same thing with the Bible. So there are no facts that support your position. There is nothing that is actually factually verifiably true, but that is also indicative of your position. Nothing. You believe this guy? Wow. Yes. No facts at all. No facts at all. Are, are you I, sure? I described, that are actually factually true. We can verify that these are actually true, and they support your position over mine. None. From the Bible? Right. Can I give you some actual facts? No. I can. You're welcome to try. So how, why, how can we give you facts? Why why should you, wait, wait, give wait, I said he's not capable of doing that. Okay. He doesn't know try. that he's not capable of yeah, doing I that. I can yet. do it. Okay. Let me give you some facts. Okay. okay. A few years ago, it came out of the Los Angeles Times that they, they used to believe there was no pool of Siloam in the Bible. They used to believe that. Okay. However, it came out of the Los Angeles Times back about 2011 that they were actually digging a sewer in, uh, in Jerusalem there, digging a sewer line, and they uncovered the pool of Siloam, exactly where it was in the Bible. It has been covered by dirt from an earthquake, and they actually found first century coins at the bottom of it. They're saying exactly what the Bible said, that the pool of Siloam is exactly where the Bible said it was. Okay. Okay. So are you saying, you just ask me to do both things. It has to be in your position over mine. So now, so they also discovered the city of Troy. You know that, right? Okay, what's that got to do with the pool of Siloam? What's that got to do with the pool of Siloam? Does the discovery of the city of Troy prove Hellenism? No. Come on, there you go. But the Bible says the pool of Siloam. Yeah, the Bible says there was a thing there. 
it's there. So that's a fact. But it's not indicative of your position. That are also indicative of your position. That's not. The head of Suetonius, Pliny the Younger, Tacitus, the Roman historian, all wrote accounts of Jesus Christ existing. And Tacitus said that Pontius Pilate crucified Jesus and called him Christus. Right, he talks about right. And I don't have any objection to there being a first century faith healer exorcist scammer the same way we have faith healers exorcist scammers today. I'm sure there were lots of lunatics on the streets that day. There were lots of cults. As I said, you know, you Jews were exorcised by the sack bowl at that time. No problem with that. So what that's not is not proven. What I'm saying is not proven. I'm arguing creationism versus evolution. Okay. Well, I can prove that. Earlier, that there's no proof whatsoever that Adam and Eve story is true. Right. I, we believe, believe we evolved or not. Well, I guess you missed the article that came out of Fox News, and don't just go Fox News because they reported it. They found that we actually do come from one set of parents, Adam and Eve. Now, you argue that's not done. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. I know the story better than you do. I have read it more than you have. I know all these details a lot more than you. They didn't. No, they didn't. We didn't come from one set of parents. No, we didn't. We didn't interrupt the meeting. Let me help you be right. Well, let me help you be right. No, you don't know what right is. I know what right is. It was not two parents. He's it was from they, they, they traced the matrilineal lines. Lines. These guys turned the the the, the, the speaker toward this way on purpose. It was turned the other way. And then they also have white people from Adam doing a different trace. They go, like places, they go to different places, still in Africa, but they go to different places at different times. They are not from a single set of parents. Francis Collins, an evangelical Christian God, and the former director of the Human Genome Project, said that Adam and Eve are genetically repent. impossible. Yeah, we did yeah. not come from Jesus. one set of parents. He's the way the truth is like Jesus. He's the only way the truth is like Jesus. That's true. That's why I don't believe him. That's why I find there is a God. You can break every chain. Bring that to change in your life. In fact, I don't care if there is a God. I talk about things we actually can't prove. Creationism, total bullshit. No, no, let me prove that creationism is true. I already know better. All codes, no matter what. All codes. Listen, he's calling all codes, you the true freedom. Like the genetics is not a code in that all code is an intelligent design. And this is not a code in that code. Therefore, DNA is intelligently designed. It is not a code. It is a code. It is a code. Science says it is a code. Science says it is a code. 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 But it's not a code in the sense that it is not a code. 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 It is Jesus Christ is calling you. It's not the same information. DNA conveys information. Yes. That proves it. It's the same thing. 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 It's
Jesus Christ, can they do it? Jesus Christ, can they do it? I would ask you to ask you to support transgenderism. You would support transgenderism. Would I specifically support human rights? Turn back to Jesus. Okay, fine. But do you believe in autonomy? Your decision for your life. But do you believe that children are a part of his name? Or the wrong body or vice versa? Do you believe that? I know that there's some fluidity there. There is. Can you prove it? 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 Jesus, Jesus, there more than you're aware of. Yes. I don't think you can. I know, because you don't know what any of the science is. No, no you don't know what any of the science is. You're just talking out of your ass right now. I do. I'm asking you, though, but my point is, do you believe you're projecting those things? You've never I think, read. I think you're projecting that on me. I've read you, stuff you, have a you obviously have I not have. read. That's, I'm asking a specific question. <laughs> yes, you're asking me a specific question, right. and you're also assuming things and saying that you no, know. No, I don't know where you stand. That. That's why I'm asking you. I don't you know. You told me there was no science of the fluid. I've already of read what? it. I know it exists. No fluid is it? You're a man or woman? That's it. No, it's not that. Not? No, it's not that. It's not binary. There it are. It is this, binary. No. It isn't. There is binary. I could show you. I'm not going to stand here and argue with somebody who will not read. Just Jesus. I have read. Right. You obviously have read. Show me where there's more. Show me how it's not binary. You know the sign I'm trying to show you. I do. Okay, let's have this conversation. Then I can just show it. Then I can 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 show
Open up this the ramp that it's reinterpreting Can a machine detect things that are not physical? Sometimes. Like, give me an example. Give me an example of a time that a machine detected something that was not physical. So much confusion. Right. Because you're saying that you know, the machines can detect things that are not physical. I need some guidance. I need a hand. You said what you No, no, it's not what I said. You said the machine can detect things that are not physical. You said the soul is not just physical. Okay, and I said everything we know about what you call a soul is entirely physical. You said it's not just physical. Okay, well then how do you know that? And then you said you want a demonstration of will. And you, but you, want, you don't want me to demonstrate the will. You want me to show the will. Show me your will. So the only way to show the will is to hook it, to show that it's physical, is to hook up a bunch of electrodes to a human brain and show it that way. But then you show your will. But then you said you think and you're going to show is thinking process going on, but it doesn't show your will. Your will is no. You say, if you want to walk away, right? You want to walk away. You want to walk away, right? But show you said walking away is not your will. That's a demonstration of the will. You just said that the machines would detect. You just said that the machines would detect the physical. They will interpret signals, but not the will. But that's collectively no, what it is. No, physical the body and decisions, the body and decisions, like your fingers, your ring, your clothes, the body and decisions and analyses that result in that reaction. No, that is the will. No, you said it's a show me the physical portion. Show me, not the demonstration of it. Explained it. No, show it to me. You said it's physical. Just explain how to show it to you. Show it to me right now. You want to walk away? I don't have a series of electrodes to put into this guy's head. Show me your will. Who's going to show me that you're thinking about something? Show me your will. What the will is. Yeah, really, because I can think, I can pontificate or whatever. That doesn't, all that means is I want the thing. If you don't mind, if you don't mind. I have beaten my head against the brick wall for two fucking hours. All I wanted to do was get a bit of video with these people. I've given you two hours of my time. We well, haven't given you a couple of I've been out here, on, right here, for two hours, <laughs> trying to walk this curve. <laughs> so, it may not have been you, it's it intermittently other people. And I'm going to walk away now, I'm going to demonstrate my will. Get well soon. Do you have shows? Do you have a show or anything? So give him the show. So you have him come on your show. He, 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 he <laughs> want to go on my show. I think we asked if he could answer the question about the will. I, I did answer the Jesus. question about the will. You really did. I really did. You know, in your brain, you think you did. Do you think you did? How, how, did, how did you define the will again? I asked you. I didn't define it. I said you said it. You said the soul. Physical. Mind the will is mind the will. Do you let's you know set the premise or do you agree your soul? When I call soul is your mind, your will, your emotion. Those three things you believe you are clearly physical. Okay. Show me the physical manifest of the will. Not your not your demonstration. That still doesn't show it. Why would the brain scan not show the brain? How can a brain scan show your will? The way I just explained it. It can only show your thinking about something. Which is what the will is. Right? You said you want to walk away. You still haven't done it yet. But I haven't done it yet. Right, but that's your want to. But prove to me that you want to without I want to get doing. I my video. That's how I make my living. What my video? Yeah, so I'm going to get my videos so I can make my living while these people are still out here. But out of my generosity, I have wasted hours with you guys. I with everybody telling me that they're not going to be reasonable. That's what you said. Every time somebody said to you, you're like, it's not true, and you shut it down. You're not, it you're not perceptive. So I, I give you the opportunity to learn that it's not true. So in other, okay. so in other words, let's talk to you. It's pointless from our perspective. You want to educate us. Yes, okay. I want to help you. So then that means it's a fruitless conversation. conversation. Yeah. Okay. Well, I appreciate you. Again. You're not going to deceive me. I'm, you're not going to deceive me. I'm not going to educate you. You're not. You're not you can't educate me. I know. Well, man, I so I it's now time to demonstrate. Did you? Did you? Did you paint that, hey, Ron? Did you?